Have you ever wanted to run around Yarnum with a slime-filled, slug-looking dead thing in your pocket while you're slaying other monsters? And this is going to be the item for you, the Empty Phantasm Shell. It is a special hunter tool that applies a straight, flat, 80 arcane damage to your right-handed weapon. Be it saw cleaver, saw spear, uh, hunter axe, threaded cane, stuff among that nature. There are weapons it does not apply to, but we're going to get into how to get it, where it is, do a little bit of a showcase of it, and we'll go over its description and its stat requirements. Let's hop on over to the stat window and check out what you got to do to use this weird looking dead thing. Hop on over. So as we can see here, the empty phantasm shell is an empty invertebrate shell that is said to be a, be a familiar of a great one. Yay, so it was a pet to somebody. Well, familiars aren't pets, but... It was a familiar to a great one, and great ones are these weird chaotic monster things that have existed for God knows how long. The Healing Church has discovered a great variety of invertebrates, or phantasms as they are called. Shells with slime still harbor arcane power and can be rubbed on weapons to imbue them with their strength. That's, that's basically your uh, hint as to what to do with it. Uh, it's a unlimited use item. It does use three quick silver bullets to apply 60 seconds of a flat 80 point arcane damage boost to your right handed weapon. Now there are weapons these cannot be used on. For the non DLC weapons you cannot apply this to the Blades of Mercy, Burial Blade, Rifle Spear, the Ligarius Will, the Tenitris, or the Chicago. For the DLC weapons it can't be applied to the Bloodletter, Boomhammer, Holy Moonlight Sword, the Cos Parasite, or Cos Parasite, or Simon's Bowblade. Um, it is very, it, not very effective, but it is very useful for the low arcane build. Someone is just going to put, you know, 15 points in arcane just to be able to have access to the Empty Phantasm Shell, the Old Hunter Bone, the Messenger's Gift, and Beast Roar. That's where most people go if they ever do use arcane. <clears throat> um, you can actually do blood bullets. So this will use your blood bullets so you can kind of stay away from using your quicksilver bullets. Uh, let's see here, what else do we have? Uh, this is not a arcane scaling item. You can take your arcane to 99. This is still going to apply 80 flat arcane damage buff to your weapon. It's actually a pretty easy one to get. It's uh, it's in Bergenworth. We're going to head over there show you where it's at, uh, what to look for to avoid. There's a hunter to avoid, and then there's also a Garden of Eyes bug to avoid. They will ambush you on the way up to it. So, without further ado, let's head on over and show you where to get it. Alright, so now that we are in Hunter's Dream, we're going to go to, I believe, it is going to be the second headstone? Oh, yeah, it is second headstone. We're going to go to Bergenworth. If you don't know where Bergenworth is, it's pretty easy. You go straight there after you defeat the uh, Shadows of Yarn Yarnum. Yarnum. Shadows of Yarnum. <clears throat> as soon as you beat them, the door door that leads out of that area to progress takes you directly to the Bergenworth Lantern. And from here, again, it's pretty simple to get here. We're going to walk off this ledge. These are Gardens of Eyes. Watch out for them. They are an absolute pain. But for this one, you can actually go punch it back. Like kill it immediately. Uh, you can farm these guys for poison knives if you want them. Uh, poison knives can be quite useful for Mikolash. So I have the shortcut open here. It's not going to be open originally unless you've opened it. So in order to get into the manor, you have to run all the way this way. Watch out for everything that's going to ambush you along with Mr. Fireball there. Turn around the corner into the door here. Now, those garden, garden of eyes may follow you in here, they may not. There's a hunter right here on this level. 
can be quite challenging to beat just because of how restrictive this area is. And, ooh, I did not pick up an item. Let's see what it is. Probably not in special. Oh, the student stuff. I actually got that from a uh, lecture hall. What you want to do is go all the way around till you find this ladder. We're going to ascend the ladder. Come on, get up here. So up here is where you will come to uh, get the key to go out to fight Rom. But at the same time, the empty phantasm shell is, is in here too. So, I'm going to double check this, but I believe this is the chest that holds the... Uh, the empty phantasm shell. Just on the upper level of Bergenworth. Yes. They have here, Garden of Eyes wants to ambush you. Grab the empty phantasm shell. And you can actually just fall down. It's not going to hurt. And I'm trying to remember where you get the Lunarium key. Let me double check. I may be wrong about getting the, uh... Yeah, that, that's where you get the Lunarium Key Pills. Right out here is your way to ROM. And there's Mr. Willem. So, let's go ahead and show off the Empty Phantasm Shell. Heal up here real quick. As you can see, my Saw Cleaver has... No enhancement on it. We'll go in here and show you that it does not have any <clears throat> blood, arcane fire, or bolt attack add on. Let's actually let's go fight the Garden of Eyes that's over here. I don't feel like fighting the big guy right now. Uh, did the, okay. There you are. Let's get one of y'all. Arcane boost. This is about 160 additional damage. Arcane is a pretty good weakness of everything in the game. Not much is strong against Arcane. He shoots fireballs. Let's go see, uh, see how quickly we can take him out. See if we can do this before our buff runs out. have it that has been the empty phantasm shell if you've made it through my atrociously horrible video after i about die again remember to hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell so you know every time i put up another video for another item towards the platinum and if you like the video hit the like if you hated the video and think i'm a moron hit the dislike button either way it helps thanks and leave a comment down below let me know what item you're having trouble with or we're what item you'd like me to go through and show you where to get it. Until next time, y'all have a great day. Later.